Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you at. It's your boy Malik Joe, and this is the New Age Degenerate outside of the New World Order Fast Cast. And like I said last week, if you don't get that turn of phrase, you was not brought up in the 90s and you did not have a television. Uh, <laughs> the picture just gives it dead away. Um, I like to start off this podcast like I start off every podcast and say, the motherfucking Eagles are Super Bowl champions, baby. God damn. Still can't believe that shit. Like three months ago. <laughs> Month and a half ago. Whatever. Uh, free Meek Mill. Just like every podcast, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. You might as well free that, man. Um, all right, let's get into the shit. Let's, not, let's stop dicking around. <laughs> um, I, I, I want to learn how to fucking play the guitar, man. I feel like that's like, like I feel like I was solidified being the shit. It's like, I know how to do a lot of shit. I can fight, I can football, I can bowl, I can draw. I can do a lot of fucking things. I can act. If I learn how to fucking play the guitar, I'm like 007 out here. Like, I like I know some shit. Next is like learning to fly a helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I want to do, man. I want to learn how to fucking play the guitar. Yo, let me tell you, I was watching fucking uh, Broad Street Bully special yesterday. No, no, not yesterday. It was a couple days ago, actually. Actually, 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 I'm lying. Rewind. I watched the movie Miracle. That movie was pretty fucking good. And I see where the coach, Coach Carter, came from, from the Miracle story. Because, you know, he was kind of the same thing, just black. Um, that, yeah, the coach on Miracle, he was fucking hard-nosed, man. I like that shit. It was awesome. And uh, we fucking beat the Russians, man. Nobody thought we were going to do it. Fucking grown-ass men playing on a fucking Olympic team where fucking nobody on our team was over 22. And the USA kicked their ass. Even though the USA team was... No, 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 yeah, it was, it was for USA. But yes, yeah. I'm thinking of uh, what I was going to get into was the Flyers beating the Red Army, which was unheard of back then. They were the best team in the world. And in the 70s, we beat the fucking Red Army with the Broad Street Bullies. Fucking Dave Schultz, the fucking man. Dave Schultz is now my spirit animal. He beats the shit out of people on that fucking ice. Oh, man, he was a guy. No fucking teeth. Oh, man. Those times just had to have been fucking awesome when you just go to the game and they fucking beat the shit out of everybody. They won in 74, 75. Go back to the sem- the finals in 76 to lose to Montreal, which Montreal wins the next four in a row. I know you guys hear me talk about hockey talk, but hockey talk is fucking amazing because, you know, I like to step outside my box, man. Some shit that I ain't never know about. I learned something, you know. That shit was fucking nuts. They just beat the shit out of people, and they fucking won every game. It was they had, they quadrupled the time in the penalty box from the next team. Like it, they just beat the shit out of people, and people were fucking scared to come here, man. Broad Street Bullies, man, that's fucking amazing. Oh yeah, and to bring a somber mood, not to bring a somber mood. Sorry. Um, Rest in peace to uh, those, uh, I think, six people that died in that uh, that falling bridge in Miami. That's uh, that's that's messed up, man. That's that's fucked up. The build the bridge was just built that Saturday and it, and it fell that two that Wednesday. That's nuts. That's it's crazy. And um, can you imagine just having a bridge fall on top of you? Like nine, they said it was nine hundred fifty tons and it just went down. And, like, as I was, like, listening to it, now they're, like, trying to check out every single bridge in the world now. Or in the United States, I guess. Yeah, because they said they were, like, off by a half inch on, like, something that was supposed to hold it up. It's like, who gets sued from that, you know? I know that's, like, not the highlight of looking at me. Six people died, four people were injured. There were people trapped under the goddamn bridge. You know, you imagine just driving, like, you know, bridge comes down, you're fucking trapped for four hours. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's pitch black. You're just trapped under there, can't get out can't move i wonder if you're like gasping for air i don't even know that's nuts you're just sitting there like you know you gotta wait because nobody's just gonna be out here lifting 950 tons you gotta wait for a crane you gotta get that off you that's nuts man oh man you gotta get those things right man i feel like they took shortcuts to make that bridge or something you gotta you gotta follow those steps man it's bullshit um, St. Paddy's aftermath. My St. Paddy's was nuts. Uh, I went to breakfast like eight in the morning. Got me a nice little, nice little breakfast in to soak up some of that liquor I was gonna be drinking later on that day. Had me a little edible, an edible arrangement. <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, a little edible cookie. 
maybe two. Uh, and uh, yeah, that shit. As soon as I started drinking, it kicked right in. I was fucking high as a kite. Um, it was awesome though, man. We were like bar hopping, skipping the line and shit. We had our like matching shirts on. So like, it was kind of weird. Like, you know, like I don't think I'll ever do that again with the words on the shirt. But I'll definitely wear like a cool shirt with like a cool figure on it if I ever go out for St. Patty's on it. Because everyone was just staring at us like, what does that say? Like, you know, it was like reading my shirt. Even the shirt, the shirt was cool. It was inspired by uh, Ha Ha Davis. It said, first time being Irish, this shit finna be a breeze. And, uh, you know, it just draw a lot of attention. Which is whatever, you know. But, like, I, I wish I would have thought that through because I would have never put the fucking words on it. Because everyone wanted to see what the hell was going on. And plus we matched and it was, like, bright orange and green. So, it was weird. Um, <laughs> uh, fucking, I'm at work and they're, like, talking about jury duty. And uh, I never had jury duty um, for reasons, but, you know, fuck that. I, I I can't see how they get people to do that. It's like, yeah, you want me to get out of work? You're going to pay me 6000 an hour or 6 bucks to fucking this for this case? Fuck that. Never. It's, you can never get me to do it. I'm, I'm going to just go in there and say, I'm, yeah, I, I do drugs. I'm drunk right now. I mean, we don't need you. Send me the fuck home. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I, if I live with that man, I'm thinking about that mentality, like, you know, nobody should be, like, how the fuck do they get, like, so how the hell would people get prosecuted if, you know, nobody did jury duty? So there's got to be some people out there with some time to waste on their fucking hands because I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. I was like, I can give a shit less, you know. And maybe I'm only saying that because I didn't ever hear a case that actually touched me or anything like that. But fuck jury duty. How about that? I'm not doing it. Um. <laughs> next thing I know, I got a fucking paper in the mail next <laughs> Yeah, I'm on this fucking water diet. I got to go fucking pee every fucking two minutes. I'm trying to do 100 ounces of water a day. Not a gallon. I mean, that's not say a gallon isn't too much. I mean, I know it's only 20, 28 more ounces. But I work in 10-hour-a-day shifts. So I just drink 10 ounces an hour. You know, just like give it, get it through evenly a day instead of like trying to chug down a gallon. Um, yeah, I guess it's kind of the same thing, but, you know. When you break it down every hour and hour, you know, you really can't break down the measurements of a gallon every hour. I guess you could, but I just like to do the 10 ounces of fucking, uh, 10 ounces an hour. Get up to 100 ounces. I think that's, like, perfect. Perfect for me. I eventually make it to a gallon because I also drink when I leave work, so drink water and shit while I leave work. That's the fuck that, but it, it definitely sheds me, like, every, like, you know, because it puts your body in flush mode, so, like, you know, all the fatty shit that I eat just comes right off. I'm like, I'm like, I'm liking how I'm looking when I'm doing it. So I'm going to keep that up as long as I possibly can. Just like I'm going to keep this podcast up as well. Sorry, this fast cast up as, as long as I can. Um, let's talk about double standards, people. Uh, see, I work in the food industry. And, you know, sometimes I go to tables and shit. And I'm like, yeah, how you doing? You know, and, you know, girls be aggressive as fuck. Damn, you got a nice body. Straight go to grab my chest, or they go to touch my abs, or try to touch my ass, and it's crazy, like insane to think like that that is allowed, and like you know if they do it, it's just like all right, and but like if you can you even imagine if you were a man and you went out to eat and the fucking server was hot and you just grabbed the titty, like oh damn this fucking body is ridiculous, grab a tit, grab an ass, like what the fuck, <laughs> you'd be out of there, like you'd be fucking arrested, like. And it's, it's, just, it's just nuts how double standards work. And, like, you know, girls are always, like, you know. And then if I don't, like, if I'm like, yo, chill, like, don't grab me. They're like, they automatically think you're gay. <laughs> no, you're gay. Uh, you don't let me touch you, you're gay. It's like, no, it's like, motherfucker, it's, uh, it's fucking drives me up a wall. It's like girls always ask, like, yo, can I touch your ass? And I'm like, can I touch your ass? And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> how about that? Yeah, so, uh. Uh, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Uh, that's 10 minutes, and that was fast cast. And uh, I'll see you guys next Monday. I'm going to be talking about some other shit for 10 minutes. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll, I'll up it to a 30 minutes. And I'll just be bringing you shit, you know, from here and there. But, um, yeah, this is not informative or helpful at any way, shape, or form. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I just feel like I just had to, you know, let you guys know. Or whoever's listening to this. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers, peace. B-A-C.